Alrighty, so here we are for video number three. We've uh, just finished video two on kind of Google searching and tabs and uh, snapback and some, some features that are going to help you efficiently navigate the web. Um, but now I've found some interesting stuff from my Google search on Chia Pets and I want to save it. Uh, so now we're going to talk about bookmarks and how I can save, uh, for example, any of these three tabs here into my bookmarks bar so I can come back to them later. Okay. Uh, as you'll find with the Mac, the more you use it, there are lots of different ways to do any given task. So I'll show you one or two ways to create bookmarks and you'll probably find out five more. One of the easiest ways is to click this plus button over here to the left side of your address bar. Okay. Uh, if you don't have this button here, if you've customized your toolbar and that plus button doesn't exist on your computer, you can go up to bookmarks on the menu bar here and there's an option for add bookmark. Uh, for those of you that like keyboard shortcuts, you'll notice on the right side command D is your keyboard shortcut to add a bookmark. Okay, All three of these ways, the plus button, the menu bar, or command D, all do the same thing. So I'm just going to click the plus button here and it gives me this window to create a bookmark. There are two parts to creating any bookmark. First, you have to give it a name, and second, you have to choose where you're going to save it. Okay, So I'm going to name this one Chia Obama. And I'll just make a note of Amazon. Okay, This is where I've, I've set my name, and second, this bar right here uh, is where I choose where I'm going to save it. By default, on my computer, it says Top Sites. On your computer, it might say something differently depending on uh, what your last bookmark, uh, where your last bookmark was saved. So for me, I don't want to save it in top sites right now. I'm going to save it to my bookmarks bar. Okay. And then I'm going to click Add. And you'll notice that on the right left side of my bookmarks bar here, it's added a new bookmark that says Geo Obama for Amazon. Okay. Um, as an aside, sorry for anybody who's if anybody's offended by Chia Obama, but it's just a coincidence that that happened to be the Amazon link that I clicked on. <laughs> Back to the topic at hand. So that's one way to create a bookmark, click the plus button, give it a name, give it a location, and here it is. Once it's appeared on your bookmarks bar, you can drag it left and right to reorder them. So for example, if I want to put it on the right side, I just drag it there, or I could drop it in the middle right there. If I want to remove that bookmark, I just click and drag down. You'll notice the ghost image that's going with my uh, mouse there. And then I just let go in any empty space below the bookmarks bar and poof, there it goes. And you'll notice it's no longer on my bookmarks bar up there, okay? But what happens when you want to bookmark a, a few pages all at once or you want to have a little more control over your bookmarks. Well, let's start with bookmarking all three of these tabs here. I've got the history of Chia Pets. I have one particular example of one on Amazon, and I also want to bookmark my Google search here uh, to make it easy to find some of these links again. Well, Safari has a nice feature built in here under bookmarks. You have an option here to add bookmark for all three of my tabs that I have. I'll click the button here. I can give it a name, so I'll just say uh, Chia Pets, okay, and I, I do want to keep it in my bookmarks bar here, so I'll leave that as is. Now I'm going to click Add, and you'll notice that a bookmark here uh, has appeared, but there's this square on the right side. Okay, I want to move it down to the other end here, um, and because it's a bookmark, I've saved it for future use. So now I'm done with my Chia Pet search. I'm just going to close all these windows, quit Safari go to work, come back, whole day later, I open up Safari. It's going to open up to my home page that I set in our first video. Watch what happens when I click on this bookmark. Okay. Instead of opening just one page, it opens up all three of the pages that I had saved, each in their own different tab. Okay. So uh, when you are creating, when, when you are doing searching like this and you do start to use tabs, um, don't forget about that feature that you can easily add a bookmark for all three tabs. It's going to open them all back up automatically. 
Just a note, this does not work with multiple windows. So if I had multiple windows like this open, I can't save a bookmark for all of these different web pages. Okay? It will only work to add a bookmark for tabs, so that's another advantage to using tabs. Last thing, uh, if you really want to take a little more control over your bookmarks, you can organize them. On the left side here, there's a little picture of a book. If you click on that, it's going to open up your bookmarks manager, is what I call it. I don't know what the proper term is. Uh, on the left side, you'll have lots of different con uh, collections. Probably the only two that you will likely use often are bookmarks bar and maybe bookmarks menu, but we're going to stick with bookmarks bar today, okay? Notice that the contents of the bookmarks bar are listed here uh, vertically, and they are in fact identical to the set that is actually on my bookmarks bar up here. Down at the bottom, we have plus buttons two of them. The plus button on the right side will let me add a new folder in which I can group my bookmarks. So I will add a new uh, folder here. I click the plus button and it gives me an untitled folder. Now I'm going to search for rock gardens. Well, I haven't searched for it yet, but I'm just going to give this folder a name and that will let me uh, add new bookmarks inside this rock garden. So I'll click the book icon again to close that. And I'm going to start doing a rock garden search. Okay. I want to know how to build rock gardens, so I'm going to click on this one. Oh yeah, this looks like a good article. So then I'm going to click my plus button to add this as a, um, as a bookmark. But now I have another option to save it inside the folder that I've created that says rock gardens. Okay, so I'm going to add this one three finger swipe to the left to go back to my search. Uh, NASA, interesting. Has something on rock gardens. Ah, that's what I want to go for. A nice moonscape appearance. So I'll add that one as a bookmark again to my rock gardens and click add. Now notice that uh, if I click on my rock garden folder up here in my bookmarks bar, I have quick access to my bookmarks here. This is really handy because if I had not created this folder, this Rock Gardens folder, then all my bookmarks would start streaming over here off to the right, and I would very quickly run out of space on my bookmarks bar. So instead, by creating folders, you can group things easily so that uh, you only need a few different uh, items along your bookmarks bar here if they're all in folders. For example, Apple gives you a default folder called Popular that has, obviously, popular websites, or a news one, for example. Okay, So click on your book icon on the left side of your bookmarks bar. Click the plus button at the bottom, and that will allow you to organize all your bookmarks really well. Last note on them, you have this auto-click column here, and they're you know, kind of in the middle. Uh, that's what allows me to open up uh, a whole set of bookmarks instantly. So you'll notice this Chia Pets one, we click it, it opens all the items inside of it right away. Whereas with my Rock Gardens one, it just shows me a drop down menu and then I have to choose one of them. The reason those two are different is because Chia Pets has the auto click feature turned on and Rock Gardens doesn't. To demonstrate, if I check the Rock Gardens on and then I click my Rocks Gardens bookmark here, you'll notice it now has the square on the right side of it and it's opened up both tabs um, automatically. Okay, So use your bookmarks manager here to create folders. To, you can drag things between. If I want my Google Maps to be in my popular folder, I can just drag it over there. Uh, use your auto clicks buttons here, um, and you can also go here to uh, change the names for bookmarks and uh, just by clicking twice on the bookmarks. Okay, That's it for managing all of your bookmarks.